documenting life and solving problems if you're new here hi have you subscribed if you've not but today i felt that the street video i filmed was all over the place so i felt it was proper for me to just narrate the story and everything to you before we we'll start the video i decided to come with a full face makeup because i respect you if you like this vibe please don't get too used to it because <laughs> it was quite a struggle for me to have all this on I hope you're not looking at me through here today in all my glory and regalia I took you guys to the streets of Nigeria keep on watching I'm going to a popular street in Abia state it's called Lagos street no I'm not talking to you sorry they sell a lot of street food there and all of that so I'm just going to take you guys along transportation is quite pricey because anywhere you go from any point you're going to still pay the same amount so shorter distance far as distance it's all the same Price. Hopefully you are able to hear me once we start filming the street food video What to expect from this video is I'm going to be showing you the different type of street food that they sell And they are so cheap So freaking cheap Like you Baby but you know I never will No So I choke you down just like a pill Good afternoon ma and you have to try as much as possible to have respect when you're going to the street see nigerians take respect like as if it's life okay as they're giving you the food even though you're paying for whatever you are buying you have to still say thank you ma mommy sir all these names are actually what opens nigerians up you you just tell me come so you could see me trying to get conversation going between me and the maid seller the reason for this is because i wanted this video to be very very authentic so it could look, sort of bring you back to the moment i had to ask her what were the popular street food so i could just get conversation going over so it doesn't get awkward and doesn't have a particular time no. okay. oh yeah you just give me one yeah just give me one like why do you ask okay. When I met the woman who sold the maze, I had to practically explain my eyes out to her why I should film her and her product. So I told her people in diaspora, people all over the country, they just want to see the food the Nigerians eat on the streets. Now I want to know now, you know people that people that are watching now, so they want to know Nigerian popular street food. Roasted yam. Roasted yam. Okay, but you don't have it now here. Roasted plants. I don't have it today. My yam is The roasted corn. It's here. I put a about when the maze was being sold whether it's just sold in the evening time or in the afternoon till evening she said that it doesn't have a particular time to sell maize you could actually sell it in the morning in the afternoon and the evening people just buy so it's not a respecter of any time so you could actually eat it as breakfast lunch and dinner it was really it was really weird because when i buy roasted maize for my personal use obviously i usually buy it towards evening i think that it's just something that comes with buying maize in the evening please tell me if i'm the only person that thinks so tell me in the comment section so you guys this is what the stand looks like so each year now it's 100 naira yes okay how much is the pair? all right but we're gonna have just one now as the corn season is just starting the corn is actually retailed for one at hundred naira and then i'm going to be putting the equivalent in dollars on the screen so the pier is sold for 350 naira in some places and then some places also retailed for 300 naira the coconut is sold for one at 50 naira and for me it's not bad why do people put it in it's called why not it's not good to eat with so don't put it here you don't put it here so that Yes. It's usually wrapped in a newspaper and then put into a nylon. When I asked her why is she always wraps her maize in a newspaper, she said that it was because it's hot. So if you put it directly on a cellophane bag or whatever bag, it actually tears up the bag. So in case you didn't know that, I've had something for you excellently. So give me a thumbs up. So they have some bag that are cooking there.
to 100 naira. But of why am I not almost all 50 naira? This is what it looks like before they start cooking or roasting. In case those of you are confused, uh -huh. what is the location of this place? Lagos Street by Niger. Okay, Lagos Street by Niger. If you are very nice to them, they could actually refer you to another vendor or another person who sells street food. That yeah. junction, police junction. Yes. Go down. You will see the woman. She's selling a big pot. If you heard my friend, big pot of a cook pot. Yes, definitely. <laughs> you don't want to be rude if you want someone to help you. And so she actually referred me to an, a different vendor, which we are going on to go and check out her street food. Good afternoon. How do you feel? I just wanted to know, is this a popular street food? How often do people buy it? The people buy it, they are staying for money to For money to okay. So among the three of them, which one is more sold? They sold, I sold them. People rush it. More? Yes. But can I stand here and eat it? People can stand here and eat it. Okay. I want to sit down too and eat it here. Okay, do you want to test it? Yes, ma'am. It was just so nice and adorable. Thank you so much, Ma. I really, really appreciate all my soldiers are saying thank you for allowing us to film. Oh, Akara, now Gidi is always popular in this street. What do they use their Gidi with? Sorry. They use their Gidi and eat their Akara now. With what? All two together? Let me show you. Please show me, Ma. Thank you. So, but if you don't want it as takeaway, there's actually a stainless plate which I'm going to be dropping here. You guys, my grandmother used this kind of plate to serve us when we were very, very little. Thank you. Okay. Seven of the agidi and the akara came with a leaf. That leaf is actually what is used to preserve the agidi. You normally use hand though, as in hey, well, they local use, food. Yeah, ah, food. so now I'm going to use my hand. So first of all, local foods are foods that you eat with your hand. You are not about meddling it with fork and knife. Thank you so much. We know you have culinary skills, but at this point, I think you just have to leave it behind. So this is agidi and akara. So I'm actually supposed to use my hand and eat it. Yeah. She was nice enough to take my camera and help me film my first bite. You guys, the woman was nice. Please. As a local food now. As a local. <laughs> okay. Hmm, it's not bad. The taste of the agidi was sour. So the agidi and the akara was a bad combination for me. Then. What's the agidi made of? Up with corn. Corn. That means it's healthy too. This is now corn and oh, oh, Very healthy food. I had to go over to the next one. Next! The next one is potato and yam. That one is sold even in the morning, afternoon, evening. It doesn't have a time. Which one do you sell usually in the night? More. I thought Akara is for morning. They eat it very well in the night. Eat it with bread. Drink Akara in the night. Then you like Akara very much. And you just sell one. Like so people who actually retail street food, who don't just like retail for a particular one, you could see someone who is selling maize, the fried plantain, who is selling fried potato, fried yam, and everything. Particular street food is not restricted to a particular person. It's really amazing that the woman who I went to buy the fried yam and the fried potato usually fries with vegetable oil. You guys, this particular place, they don't use um, local oil, they use sachet oil, so it's actually healthy. It's vegetable oil, they use to fry. And then they have everything sectioned out the akara, the yam. So I'm going to eat the next one potato and yam. This is potato. <laughs> potato and yam is another popular street food in Nigeria. So I'll just show you guys. See what it looks like. I like potato. So you guys, this one is the yam. I'm going to be trying it out with the pepper. One thing again you need to know is that when you are going to the street, you have to make sure that you dress down. The sun shall no longer in all her glory actually dressed up well. I even had the guts to wear sneakers. It was bad. So I got unnecessary attention. I mean, I'm not an outsider, so why am I getting so much attention from people? So I feel that whenever you're going to the street, you should actually dress down so you don't attract unnecessary attention to yourself. And also, I made a mistake of carrying my tripod on my hand, the one I'm using to film now, so it actually brought a lot of attention to me. And don't bring attention to yourself in the streets of Nigeria. You don't, you don't want that at all. People are looking at me. And I don't care right now. 
I had to go over to the next one. Next! So the fish was retailed for one 200 naira. But for me, I feel that the size of the fish and the amount they caught was not bad. And yeah, you know what? Give me the give me the give me the damn fish. Give me the fish. I want I want the fish. Thank you. So you guys, this is another street food. But what fish is it called? Croca fish. Croca fish. fish. Okay, oh, oh, okay, it's going out. That Yoruba is panla. So, you guys, this is the next one we are going to be trying now. The fish is called croaker fish in English, and then in Igbo, it's called oboroko fish in Aosa. I don't know. Do your research, and yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think. That's this is what it looks like. Hmm. So, you guys, this is what it looks like, right? When you debone it first. Once you are done deboning it, then you have your fish to eat. <laughs> so, if fish actually tested like fish, if you've tested fish before, what, what, what other description do you want me to give you? It's fish. Fish is fish. They are not all about the packaging, they are all about like quick food that people can just eat. Uh, thank you very much. Now, what's your name? So, I'm Madam Tessie. Okay. Thank you so much, Madam Tessie. Tell them bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so, I had to go over to the next one. Next! Good afternoon, Ma. I want to buy. Is this Bolek? I want to buy, but I want to be asking you questions too. As I buy. Am I free? Okay. Okay, I want you to know like, is this a street food people eat all the time? The Bolek? Okay. So the next stop was the Bole stop. The Bole is a popular street food that is actually emanated from the rivers or the Potako people. They are together. I don't know, but correct me in the comment section. Yeah, right, right, right. The Bole is actually made out of plantain. Either you get your ripe one or you get the ripe one. Which one do you recommend that I get? Which one should I eat first? Ripe one. Okay, it's usually served here. Yeah. Okay. Bole is usually served in a takeaway plate. But if you are not taking it away with you, they give you this same stainless plate that brings back memories from my grandma. Okay. Then plantain, fish, yam, yam. Yes. But why do people use this thing? Mindy. Yes. Why do people yes, use because it? Because of let uh, let the thing days for us to roast. Okay. Mm. Even people that roast corn to do yeah. that. Yeah. What's this place called? This is Enugu Road by Abriba. Yeah. I know Potako people are going to be like, please don't call for us. We have the best. I'm about to taste bole. This is not my first time though, but I'll give you guys the first impression of the bole once I start tasting it. So please join me. They're usually paired with the plantain, then the pepper and the sauce. The sauce is, is usually very spicy. One is sold for 150. Okay, one is sold for 150. Then it's mixed with the bole and the fish. Oh, so we have bole here, roasted plantain, then we have the stew, and then we have the fish. I'm going to be showing you how no. they eat this. But ma, how do they eat this thing though? How do they eat it? With spoon or your hand? The right it's way like to eat it. You use your hands. You okay. wash your hand smart. very you well. <laughs> you use Please, I have to wash my hand. You can actually eat it with your fork or you can use your hand. But the right way to consume it is to use your hand. Let us tell ourselves the truth because I'm here for it. Okay, fish. Then this is the bole and the stew. The leaf is utasiri. Yes, utasiri. Okay, utasiri. I'm just going to take this chunk and show you guys. You guys, this is it. Hmm. I'm going to be trying with the fish now. So bole is actually very very filling and to me it was the street food that actually filled me up. This food is quite filling because I've just eaten two and I'm almost full already. I love it so much. It tastes so good. Yeah, I think the bole was actually my favorite. I finished my food. This one was my best. Okay, so highly recommended. Then every street food seller has a stand. It's only covered with an umbrella, then a stick across it. So it's used to sort of shield the food. So it usually comes in this umbrella. Get okay, so the food is protected and shielded and usually in the street. Nigerians are very funny, right? I don't have anything against us, but we are just 
like we're very very self-protective i decided to stay in a settled place and a very quiet environment for me to make my last impression and everything so this was my first time filming on the streets i've actually done a video a market video but it wasn't this detailed like the one i just did now so first of all let's start with the review let me drop my things because at this point i have to be raw okay but this is my country called nigeria we are not receptive people <laughs> the people that are receptive you have to know what you're telling them for them to be very receptive to you right i don't see it from a bad light for instance you don't just shove your camera in front of someone's face it's very rude first problem i experienced was the ability for them to be free to talk to me because i was with my camera i know most people don't even get comfortable in the camera people who do get comfortable in front of your camera immediately like they are second to none like they're amazing but not everybody gets comfortable in front of your camera that's all you need to understand and that i totally understood today i went out to film a video shamelessly i did not care whether you're looking at me or not i am filming it for my soldiers i had the people who i was filming the video in mind that was why i did my thing even though i had a lot of stares and people talked about a lot of things behind my back which i don't really care hallelujah somebody yes, they were very receptive to me apart from the woman who sold the potatoes the yam the reason why she was receptive enough was that someone has filmed in her shop before and has given her a certain amount of light the problem with nigerians is that we just come and say no filming here and it's crazy because people outside think that there's nothing in africa because we're hiding it all no they're not seeing it right it gets me so pissed off and angry whenever they tell me they don't film me i film regardless so because i have to film it i went on my own and it was crazy going on your own to the streets is not advisable please don't go on your own to the streets please make sure you go with someone else that will back you up probably a guy because i know that they were paying so much attention to me probably because i had a tripod on and all of that like show people what we eat on the street basically because most people we eat it but we don't pay attention to it right so i feel it was really something that people needed to see especially from my lens so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i did justice to this street food if you did enjoy and you want videos like this Definitely not me narrating because it was quite a struggle. Tell me in the comment section. I would really love to know your thoughts exactly. And if you've not subscribed until now, like how? Right? I think I, I think how? Ah, never. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the So Just Cord. And also don't forget to tell me the favorite street food you are going to be trying next. Give this video a huge, huge thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.